Just a day after ordering the replacement of KFS offices manning the Kibiku, Ololua, Thoguto, and Gong Road forest stations, the tough talking environment sees Kiriako Tobiko was on Monday making visit to the station in a fact finding mission. KFS is also living in self denial. Continue with this narrative that in fact there is no destruction going on. No. This is fake news. And the reports on the ground appear to have shocked the CS, who is now calling for a complete overhaul of the Kenya Forest Service. I am convinced beyond doubt that unless KFS radically overhaul, I mean radically, we will continue in this game of musical chairs. And that is exactly what is going to happen and to happen shortly. Tobiko saying the reshuffle of KFS offices in the country was palliative, one whose outcome will not be realized until changes are affected other forest body. Tobiko, who was accompanied by the chair of the task force meant to review forestry management in the country, Marion Wakani, said the jubilee's big for agenda could be compromised if the country's forest cover is not improved. Excellency President Uhuru's legacy, Big Four, is in jeopardy because of the destruction of our ecosystems and biodiversity as ruthless action is taken. And that precisely is going to be what will happen. According to Tobiko, the terms of sawmillers should be reviewed in efforts to obligate them to replant trees once harvesting is over. This summit revelations that some community forest associations are leasing lands allocated to them to third parties. The locals who are actually tilling the land are not members of the community forest associations. They're not. In fact, they pay money to members without receipt, without agreement. So you have an association that has been given a responsibility, but they themselves subcontract and double charge. That we heard of very horrifying stories. The task force on forest management is on Thursday expected to receive views from the public as rollout of tree seedlings commences countrywide on Wednesday. Linus Moshigadi for Channel One News.